Hello friend, welcome to my channel 5 Minute Pediatric. Few days back I have posted question on Facebook. The question was related to hyaline membrane disease and uh, on this uh, we have two x-ray and you have to tell the grading of uh, RDS. Okay, so we have uh, three grading mild moderate severe of respiratory distress syndrome. So in mild form what we have there is a decreased aeration there is under aerated um, lung and there is reticulogranulity okay so what is meaning of reticulogranulity so suppose we have numerous alveoli here okay we have alveolar duct we have terminal bronchioles so what happens in this condition we have all collapsed this uh, alveoli is collapsed and um, air is present in alveolar duct and terminal bronchiole. So this is meaning of reticulogranularity. So in moderate form, what we have, there is under aerated lung and uh, we have air bronchogram. Now what is meaning of air bronchogram? So I will tell you later. And we have indistinct diaphragm and heart border. Okay, you cannot differentiate. So what is meaning of air bronchogram? So in what happens air bronchogram? Suppose this is tra trachea, this is bronch bifurcation, bronchus, and further there is uh, further terminal bronchus. In what we have uh, the pro uh, proximal part, air is present, but distal part becomes collapsed. So what uh, this is the meaning of air bronchogram, and there is indistinct heart and diaphragm border. Now in severe form, what we have confluent opacification of lung with loss of mediastinal and diaphragmatic water, what we called ground glass appearance. So this is the severity of distress radiologically. You have to understand what is the meaning of reticulogranular pattern. Here in this x-ray, you can see the reticulogranular pattern. Okay. And here bronchogram, what we call and here the info we have indistinct almost indistinct diaphragm and heart border this is about rds so you can easily assess the severity of the disease on the basis of x-ray also so you can easily give surfactant to this child so this is all about respiratory distress syndrome i'm only talking about the clinical aspect so you have to go through the theory for detail Hope you enjoyed this video. Kindly like, subscribe and follow my channel. I am available on Facebook and uh, YouTube. So kindly go and subscribe my channel. Thanks. Thanks.